Bear Down Chicago Bears, Yannick Ngakwe has been injured with a broken ankle. He's going to be out for the season. Guys, if you like this content, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and hit the bell to be notified of future content. So we're going to talk about some of the options that we have as we hope for the best from Yannick Ngakwe and hope for a speedy recovery. But he is out for the year. This guy is a game-changing defensive end. However, this has been the game-changing defensive end on an underperforming defense for much of this year. So, uh, with Yannick Ngakwe out, we have to turn to a couple of different options. And we're going to go over those options, uh, and, and we're going to look at it. See, you know, what is it that what is it that's going to happen? Now, it should be stated, and we should recognize for the record, that what happens right now is going to happen because Montez Sweat has become a game. Now, uh, I'm going to show you uh, a comparison of stats, and if you're a big fan of Yannick Ngakwe, then you're going to kind of like, wait a minute, is that right? Because, uh, let's look over here, this is Yannick Ngakwe's stats for the year. You can see right here, four sacks, 22 uh, combined tackles, and nine assists, uh, no safeties. But here we go with Demarcus Walker. Now, Demarcus Walker has been the guy that spelled uh, both Montez Sweat and Yannick Ngakwe for most of the season, has taken a lot of snaps, uh, one and a half sacks, 20 uh, tackles, and nine assists. So the, the question that you might be asking yourself is, well, um, you know, what's the drop off there? Well, it is pass rush. We do have to acknowledge that there's pass rush. So let's look at some of the options that are available and you know, what they've done. So uh, the first one that comes up is uh, Demarcus Walker. So uh, we're going to look at him. He is a defensive tackle, but he has played end. Okay. Uh, now uh, that's 532 uh, different snaps that this guy has taken over the course. And uh, when we kind of break this down, Yannick Ngakwe, 592. So this guy has been spelling and he's been out there making plays. He has been uh, a, a decent substitution at this point. Um, roughly 41 snaps a game. So good part of the rotation. Um, now the, the, the other part to that is there are other options. Gervon Dexter, also a defensive tackle would probably be stepping in a little bit. It's already been discussed and Dexter's already played. I think 54 of his 318 snaps have been at the, uh, uh at that position. So, you know, we'll see what happens there, but we also have Rasheed Green, Dominique Robinson. Dominique Robinson is probably the guy that's going to benefit the most from this. Uh, only been involved in 165 snaps on the season. Not a great ratio here for Dominique Robinson, but it's an opportunity. And Khalid Kareem could be getting a little bit more playing time. Not been playing too much. These are opportunities for these guys to step up. So I think that the most likely rotation here is going to be uh, Demarcus Walker and Montez Sweat uh, taking over as the defensive ends because Demarcus Walker gives you the best chance. Uh, Gervon Dexter probably gets into the mix a little bit more than we would expect. Rasheed Green is going to be the spell guy, uh, but I think that rotation is going to look... But I think that rotation is probably what we're going to go with through the end of this year. Uh, should be a good opportunity. Should be a great... Um, should <laughs> should be a good opportunity for this rapidly rebuilding defense to make a statement and for these guys to show you what they can do. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, Demarcus Walker looks to be the replacement at this point. Gervon Dexter uh, with the spelling. Dominique Robinson stepping up a little bit. Uh, I think going to get quite a few more snaps than he's been getting before. So um, that's what it looks like for right now. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. We'll talk to you again very, very soon.